New story for you tonight on KXLY 4 News. It was one of the region's largest drug busts almost five years and eight months to the day since officers raided several locations in three eastern Washington cities and parts of northern Oregon. One of the men behind it all now released from federal prison, and his story just might surprise you. KXLY's Hawk Hammer working for you tonight joins us live in the studio. Hawk, you had a chance to speak with the main target of that operation, whose life now appears, well, to have been turned around. Well, that's right, Darren. Just for some background, though, that operation was two years in the making and named Operation Old School. It resulted in dozens of arrests, took pounds of meth, guns, and even a live hand grenade off Spokane streets. It was said to have broken the back of the meth industry in Spokane at the time. Charles Bell, or Charlie, as he's known to his friends at Family Faith Community Church, wasn't someone you wanted to meet back in his old school days. I knew right from wrong, but I, I just kept doing wrong. He says he headed up a multi-city, multi-state drug empire, funneling meth and heroin wherever he could. I didn't even care uh, about my own family members. It, it was still about the money and the game that I was involved in. That game ended, though, on a snowy day nearly six years ago in one of the biggest busts in Spokane's history. Now, after serving his debt to society, Charlie's out of prison, seemingly a changed man, thanks to the efforts of Pastor Danny Green and his ROAR program that's reaching out, advocating recovery. My heart and passion is to be able to help people, help clear up the streets of Spokane one addict at a time. He provides homes to addicts and former dealers, and centers their lives around structure and prayer. He's helped hundreds find a new meaning in life. Most go on to be productive members of society. It's an approach that Sheriff Ozzy, who's helped put Charlie and many of the people that go through the program behind bars, says works. You know, it's really easy to arrest people, really easy to take them to jail. The hard part is keeping them out of jail. For more evidence, he says, look at Nick Eli, who has eight felonies and even worked for old school way back when. He spent years in the program, and now along with Charlie, heads it up, spreading his message. Doing things and, and doing them the right way, there's a lot more pride in that than doing things the wrong way. A success story, because they were given the chance to change in an environment that supported them. You can sit and keep people down, or you can try to give them a hand up. Now the church is holding a Walk for Recovery fundraiser next month on the 16th. Pastor Green says he invites anyone who wants to turn their lives around to attend. Reporting live, I'm Hawk Hammer, KXLY4 News. Hawk, before you go, the sheriff sounded pretty positive about this program. Is this something we might see on a broader county basis? Uh, well, yeah, Darren, Sheriff Ozzie says programs like this are, are something the county talks about, but hasn't found the answer or way to implement themselves. Uh, with the success, though, it could model uh, the way the county moves forward. Darren. Thank you.